Привет, I'm Boxer, and today I'm going to be showing you some amazing Halloween ideas, concepts and build tricks that I have prepared for you. Before we start, I want to say a few words about this video. I have to state that all ideas and concepts in this video are exceptionally mine. And by saying this, I don't mean that I am an inventor of these things. I just mean that this video is mine and in my video I want to represent my thoughts on something. I haven't used internet to bring together all ideas and also I have to say that I know that these ideas indeed exist on internet, but I haven't stolen them, I just build what comes on my mind. And with that being said, let me start showing you my beautiful presentation. And to start off, let's talk about pumpkins. A regular pumpkin seems not that interesting, and to make it more realistic, I suggest you use sea pickle or any candles you want. You see, with a sea pickle on top, it looks like it has its own root on top, and a candle gives you a lot more opportunities because you can choose any color you want so as you can see here even texture of this pumpkin has this yellow small root and choosing the proper color you can show that it's all the autumn and the root is cat in orange or yellow instead of a regular green moving on and here i placed blocks that i want to use in my theme and the goal of this part of the video is to make an ominous piece of land. So I really recommend you to use dead bushes and pumpkin seeds, like it's all the autumn and all the vegetation is dying, because it's getting cold. Then I really want to use buttons as a stone and dripstone as stalagmites and stone as well. Then we can use dead corals as a dead bush or like it's bone meal or just the bones. Cobweb is always necessary, and then glow lichen, and it will make your building look beautiful at night, because it glows obviously, and then a very important part, with the roses and candles. Wither rose looks absolutely ominous, and it is very appropriate for our theme, and candle, I wanna use candles here as bones, because they really look like a small bones. I could use white candles, but they don't look as great as look these regular candles. And I have to say that I'm making a small piece of land that has an orange grayish palette. So that's why I'm using only these blocks here. As a foundation, we can use puzzle, puzzle, yes, uh, coarse dirt, and even rooted dirt. It looks very cool here. Moving on, and here we have. A good old trick. And I don't mean this magnificent root on top. <laughs> I mean this little pumpkin. And for those who don't know how to do it, I'll show you right now what we need is uh, some snow, armor stand, carved pumpkin, piston, lava, and a block. First of all, we put six layers of snow, then we place a pumpkin like we want. And then you have to push a block into this armor stand. And it is really needful to know that you can push blocks from the any side you want, but only pushing block from the top will not move your armor stand. Uh, but if you're pushing a block on right, left, or behind, <laughs> etc., you will move your armor stand like this. You see? Yeah. Now we have a beautiful small pumpkin right next to our big pumpkin and it's been moved a little bit to the left. And combining all these things that I have shown, we can get a beautiful piece of land right here. Just look how awesome it looks. Now we really have that orange crash palette and most important it has Halloween vibe and it looks kinda ominous and scary. Well, what we have here is obviously buttons, stalactites, stalagmites, uh, candles, like small bones, dead bushes with the roses. I also added here skeleton skull and an armor stand with the skull and, of course, pumpkins. 
glow like and makes it glow and of course dead corals do make a significant impact in my opinion and of course grown pumpkin seeds. I really love the way it looks. And that was a small part of my video, we are moving on. Before we had a pretty regular palette, but now I want to make a red palette. Specifically red, maroon, white palette. And for the basement I suggest you use the screams of nylon, uh, nether quartz or and um, nether ward block. But also I will even use a nether rack. And of course the goal of this video is to show you that you can make very detailed Halloween building. Back to our palette or concept, I don't know. <laughs> Here I want to use some uh, roots, mushrooms and nether mushrooms as well. Here white candles because they really fit in with this quartz ore. Of course they go here as bones. And red candles, they look like something's growing from this uh, nether wood block. Obviously don't forget about corals. Here they look more like bones, but it's only my choice because you can mix all this palace and get a unique building. And here red is not like a word, it's more like a flash. Really fresh flash with bones. And that's what makes it scary. It's not only about nether stuff. Here I use the same technique to make these skeletons. I also use dead corals and candles, which are really appropriate here. And using armor stands you can make a lot of mutants. <laughs> Just like here, yes. A mutant with three eyes. An infinite mutant. <laughs> uh, very strange mutant, but, but it is something. <laughs> uh, a mutant with double hat. A mutant with a weird hat, and um, and again mutant with two hats, and a mutant with eyes from the edge side. <laughs> Here should be eyes as well, but something went wrong. And if we will combine all these things and add a bit of imagination, we can get this this small piece of land that looks remarkably good. I even used a diorite wall here to make these bones uh, more sharp and candles on top. In my opinion, this is one of my best themes and concepts. It really gives you an intimidating vibe, I don't know. <laughs> of course, a lot of candles, pumpkins and dead corals make this small creation special. And it's important to say that I added here some vines hanging from the bones to make it even more scary. That were my two best themes and now we can move to single ideas but in the end of the video I'll show you a huge building compared to this small exhibition <laughs> that will consist of these two themes and it looks awesome, trust me. Well now I want to show you some separate ideas and probably you have seen a lot of build tricks in which you can just push an armor stand into a glass and you can get a nice looking armor stand in a glass. Something like this. But how surprised I was when I figured out that you can put an armor stand into a slime block. Yes, here we have something really scary. A bit of acid represented by slime blocks and skeleton. A person before that has drowned in this acid and now it has been pulling up by this scary um, <laughs> mechanism. And here what we have, a skeleton in an acid. Well, I really like this concept. This idea is really something new for me. Just look at how ominous it looks. And going further with this, we can get a tank of acid and a lot of people that were drowned in this acid. So here we have a skeleton on top, skeleton in the middle of acid and some skeletons at the bottom. But what I also have added here is this campfires that emit the smoke and now it looks like, like this acid is boiling in this tank. And that's what makes this building special. We're moving on and this is also a good old trick that includes a brain 
in a glass on my right and a zombie in a glass on my left. Well now with Vazard Copper we can make this uh, creation even scarier. Also don't forget about lightning rods because you can use them as pipes or wires and what we get is a terrifying laboratory with brains and zombies. I like this idea as well. And now goes a grave with a very popular trick right now and it is building a bus or a monument or a statue with a wizard skull and anvil. But speaking about the grave here I also use candles as bones. Uh, of course Lily Roses on grave looks very cool. <laughs> Dead bushes, stalagmites and even bigger stalagmites, cobweb, buttons and most important soul soil, uh, soul sand and tough for the ground. I really love the vibe it gives you and this palette is something awesome. A huge friend in your buildings will become this lightning rod because in Halloween there will be lightnings and now you can define where lightning will strike. So that's why it is very important to include this lightning rod in your buildings. Here is a very good example how you can use this lightning rod. Have you already understood who is this? This is a Frankenstein. And a ladder rod will strike right here and it will be alive. <laughs> I think it is a very good example how you can use lightning rods. And here is a small control machine. <laughs> Next goes something that I have seen on the internet, but but I wanted to make my own version of it, and it came out much better. And I'm talking about a huge pumpkin. I don't know what do you feel, but I'm scared, I'm really scared. It looks like it will eat you instantly. <laughs> Just look at its scary teeth. Of course I used the ground that I was showing you, I textured it a little bit, so here I used a sandstone and acacia blocks and even pumpkins, of course. Here's some things that I love in it, of course it is its teeth, of course this small cute root on top. And of course what is inside. We can go through the teeth and now we're in the center of the pumpkin. <laughs> I used these fences and uh, pumpkins as something that has maintained after carving. So this pumpkin is not perfectly carved. And of course orange candles bring this creation on the next level. Who are you? After some peaceful business? <laughs> We can move to our final build that I'm so proud of. I have no words how to describe it, so just drum roll, please, and look at this. Something that I would really want to have in one of my worlds. In fact, it already exists here. <laughs> I really love the idea of having two palettes which are divided on two layers and connected with a magnificent tree. Here we have an intimidating pathway to our witch layer. What I've done here? I didn't add on the first floor glow lichen, so I had to lit up these candles. Like so. Lots of huge bones, small bones, and dead corals like bones. And of course, I added a lot of pumpkins. But speaking of pumpkins, we have here a lot of them. So I decided to place not lit ones on the first floor and more lit pumpkins on the second floor to make this creation more dynamic. Speaking of this huge tree, I used here a dark oak wood and a crimson wood to make it look like it is charmed or just absorbed by this dust floor. Like you see, all this crimson wood goes from the ground to top of it. And also I used here some chains and trap doors and even iron bars, so he can hand some victims 
uh, that was suffering from the malicious deeds of the witch. But also, I placed here a black cat in a small adorable cage. It looks so adorable and cute. <laughs> we are moving higher and we are speaking about the next floor, the second floor. And first of all, I have to say that I used a lot of vines and and in roots and even stalactites because I can't imagine this building without them and also I place here a lot of candles so they can represent magical runes or something magical and they do the trick let's be honest the second floor is this regular grayish palette with dead bushes, grown pumpkin seeds, I made here a small path with buttons, and of course cobweb on literally each side of this small house. This terrifying or intimidating house uh, was only possible to build after 1.17 version because I use here 1.16 and 1.17 uh, blocks. I love the roof, I also added here some lanterns, and um, a zombie head using armor stand, but what's the point of using this armor stand? I'll tell you, here we have a slab, you see? And without armor stands you can't put uh, heads on top of slabs. But here I also used wither skulls, and most importantly, I use here this lightning rods. Just imagine, if there will be a thunder, what it will look like when a huge lightning bolt will strike right in the roof. It will give an effect of something scary. That's making this even cooler. Inside I have not that much. I just place here a magical cauldron, an enchanting table with a flying book. Wow, that looks cool. And of course, campfire to make possible this wonderful smoke. Amethyst, I just like them. And it seems like I have spoken about all small details about this huge and wonderful place. I don't know how to call it, but I really love this. I'm hoping that you got something needful from this video. Look at the beauty you can build just using my palettes and other build tricks. I think what we need here is a thunder, so I'm moving to my computer sensor. Thank you so much for watching, I hope there will be a lightning bolt right here behind me as I'm speaking, please. So yeah, that's it for today, hope you liked it, uh, give me a like please, maybe subscribe. <laughs> Some cringe stuff, you can subscribe on my Twitter page, maybe Instagram, all links are below in the description, oh yes! Wonderful! That was remarkably good. Happy Halloween and goodbye. Пока!